G'day, can you solve this percentage question? It's a pretty easy one, so you should be able to do it instantly. Here it is, 30% of 80. All right, what answer do you get? Did you get the answer of 24? If you did, well done, that's the correct answer. But if not, don't worry, sit tight, because you know it. I'm gonna show you right now how to easily and instantly work out these types of percentage questions. And without a doubt, this is probably the easiest and most useful trick you will learn with percentages. So how did I work this out so fast? Let me show you. If you're like me, you probably remember back to when you were in school and you learned how to do these types of questions, 30% of 80. Or maybe you're in school right now and you're just learning how to do them. And the first thing you would have learned is that 30% literally means 30 parts out of 100. Nothing surprising there. So the way that you'd sort them out is you'd go 30 divided by 100 and then eventually you would multiply the result by 80. And that's the correct way of doing these. But there's a faster way that you can do these in your head. When you are dividing by 100 here, you don't have to divide by 100 in one bulk lot. That is to say, instead what you could do is you could divide one of the numbers by 10, and then you could divide one of the other numbers by 10, if it made it faster, and then multiply the results. So when we do this, 30 divided by 10, we simply get rid of the zero there, and we end up with a three. 80 divided by 10, we get rid of that zero, we end up with an eight, we end up with a simple question, which is this three times eight which is equal to 24. So 30% of 80 is the same as 3 eighths, 24. Easy. So how's that? It is the easiest trick to do with percentages, and like I said, probably the most useful one as well. So what about a couple of these that you can do right now? So first off, a nice easy one, 40% of 90. You should almost have the answer as I'm saying them directly into your head, but check your answers afterwards just to make sure. The next one, what about we do 60 percent of 70 and then finally what we'll do is let's do 90 percent a bit bigger of what about 110 so pause the video and give these a go and then come back and check your answers by the way if you like this trick maybe you currently use it or maybe you've just learned it and you're going to find it really handy please hit down hard on the like button and subscribe for more math tricks anyway enough of my self-promotion here let's have a look at these answers Nice and easy, 40% of 90, well, that's the same as four times nine. How good are your times tables? Nine times four, I prefer to think it that way, is 36. You should have that instantly. Uh, next one we have is 60% of 70, the same as six times seven, seven sixes are 42. Got our answer for that one. Hopefully you're going two for two. And the last one we have is 90% of 110. Now dividing both of these sides by 10, we end up with nine multiplied by 11. 11 nines, well, nice and easy. The answer is 99. Anyway, that's all there is for this video. A nice, short and easy explanation for a really, really useful percentage trick. Do you want some more percentage tricks though? Well, I have plenty of them here at the Tech Math channel, so check out the links in the description below. And hopefully you like that shortcut. It's nice and easy, right? As usual, if you like this trick, please poke down the like button, subscribe, and leave me a comment. Well, no one's told me for a while that I sound like a shark of Finding Nemo, so this could be your big moment. Remember, Fish your friends, not food. A big thank you to my patrons. There is a link in the description below if you wish to support my channel. It's greatly appreciated. Anyway, we'll see you next time.